Okay, finally we come to video 25. Um, multiply complex numbers, 7, 8. Um, in one of our other videos, we we uh, subtracted uh, complex numbers. Notice here there is no sign in between the complex numbers and between the parentheses. That means we're going to multiply them. You know, basically just like binomials from before. But these are complex numbers. So we can use the box method or the form method. And I'll just review those very quickly on this slide here. So on the left, we have the form method, which stands for first, outside, inside, and last. And notice that I have them color coded. So F, you're going to multiply the first two terms in each binomial. So three times negative two, which is negative six. And the only reason you do this is so they can keep track of what is being multiplied because everything has to be multiplied against everything. Uh, everything in this first binomial must be multiplied against all the terms in this second binomial. So we got the first terms, then the outside, outside, look, follow the red line on the outside, outside terms, three times four I, three times four is 12, and you put the I right there, okay? Again, notice the colors, all right? Then for the inside terms, you got 2i times negative 2. That's going to be a negative 4i. And then you got the tricky one. Uh, for the last terms, you have 2i times 4i. Well, you know that 2 times 4 is 8. But remember, i times i is i squared, which is equal to negative 1. So 8 times negative 1 is negative 8. So now you take all these terms and combine them and make sure you put the real parts together and the imaginary parts together. So negative 6 plus negative 8 is a negative 14. And you get 12i plus a negative 4i is 8i. So that gives you your final answer, negative 14 plus 8i. That's using the fall method. Now the box method is basically another way to... Make sure that you multiply everything the same way. Uh, everything is multiplied. So we've written three, times, 3 plus 2i across the top. We don't need the plus here. And we have 2 uh, plus 4i written on the side. But it doesn't matter which way you could have had the negative 2 plus 4i at the top. And 3 plus 2i on the, uh, on the side, it wouldn't matter because multiplication you can go both directions. And now you just fill in the squares with the multiplication with the product. 3 times negative 2i is negative 6. 2i times negative 2 is negative 4i. 3 times 4i is 12i. Same answers we got over here. And 2i times 4i is negative 8 for the same reason that we did over here. Okay. Then you combine your like terms that are all on the inside of the box that means your negative six and your negative eight which are down the diagonals you just basically add the diagonals you get a negative 14 when you add those two and when you add 12 i and negative 4 i you get a positive 8 i again the same answer look at the colors and that's two ways in which you can multiply complex numbers that completes this review so i'm hoping that if you watch these videos and correct your answers in the Parade deck that you will be ready uh, for either more questions or you'll be ready for the test, which is going to be either Monday or Tuesday, depending on which uh, period you have me. All right. I wish you guys the best.